Missing data plays an important role in R, and we will start by looking at different types of missing data and the effects that they have when we perform functions. R actually has several indicators for missing data. The most important one is NA, which stands for not available. When there is a value of NA, that means that we know there should be a value there, but it's missing. We don't know what it is. So a value of NA has a length of one. If you ask R to tell you the length of it, it will tell you that it's a vector of length one. NA is not put in quotation marks because then it would be a string, but actually it's an abstract object indicating that the value is unavailable. There is another kind of missing data indicator called null. Null means essentially that there isn't any value for this. If you ask the length of null, it, you'll be told that its length is zero. So there is a somewhat subtle difference between these two. NA is the one that's gonna be the most important to us and the one that we will focus on. If you include NA as one of the values, then the presence of that NA value will uh, prevent some calculations from displaying a value. For example, if we try to take the average of a vector, but one of the items in that vector is the missing data NA, then the mean function will fail to produce a numeric answer. In fact, it'll tell us the answer is not available. If we don't want N the presence of NAs to stop us from performing a certain calculation, we can override this behavior by putting in an argument called na.rm equals true, which means remove all of the NAs prior to trying to carry out this calculation. It's actually good to have a special indicator for NA because if we create a table and we have some empty cells, then that's a bit ambiguous. Does that mean that the cells represent missing data? Does it mean the cells should have zeros in them? Does it mean the cells are strings and they are empty strings? So rather than being ambiguous, we can use the NA indicator to uh, differentiate between uh, missing data and these other things. Let's try creating this vector and performing the operations that we just saw. So here I'm constructing a vector that includes an NA as one of the values. As I said, this should not be in quotation marks. If we run it, we can see in the global environment that we've created the vector. If we ask how long a vector is, in other words, how many items are there, it says four. So the NA value is considered to be one of the values. It just is uh, unknown value. If we try to carry out the averaging function called mean on this vector, we see that the answer we get is not available. In other words, R is telling us it cannot calculate the mean when it doesn't know what one of the numbers is. If I use the na.rm argument and set it to true, then it'll first remove the NAs and then calculate the average. So we can see the average here is two, which is in fact the average of one, two, and three.